So, um, it's early afternoon. I'm still in my pajamas. I haven't showered or anything because I've been dealing with my stupid computer. Um, everything was fine this morning. I got up my art video, got up the vlog, everything was going good. And then I downloaded UCAM, it's this popular webcam software because I want to improve my video quality that my webcam captures. I just kind of want more options to tweak settings than what comes with the Logitech webcam software. And so I was like, cool, I'll download UCAM. So I bought it, downloaded it, but it wouldn't open. It would give me this error saying to reinstall a program. So I tried that, tried uninstalling, re reinstalling a few times, and then I restarted my computer. And when I restarted my computer, it blue screened when I logged in. And so basically I put in my password, hit enter, and it's an immediate blue screen. And I tried again and it just keeps blue screening. And I'm like, what? Like my computer is unusable. So I looked up some recommendations online, booted up in safe mode and changed it so that no programs start on startup. And that worked as able to log in. My computer looks archaic, like all the windows look weird and I can't connect to the internet. So like it's not safe mode, but it's still crappy, kind of like safe mode. And um, anyway, so right now I'm transferring a bunch of files to back them up because I do backups once in a while and I haven't done a backup in a long time. So I'm backing up files. I was actually gonna do a system restore, but there it says there's no previous restore points on my computer. So I'm like, ah, I couldn't do that. So anyway, what I'm doing is backing up my files and then I'm gonna go through all the startup items and like through trial and error figure out what is causing my computer to crash. And I've uninstalled UCAM. That didn't help. I don't know. So right now, all I can do on my computer is transfer the files. I can't even connect to the internet. I'm supposed to be doing a live stream, but that's not happening because my computer's not usable at the moment. So that's great. <laughs> What is it, little baby? You see some light on the ceiling? You wanna attack it? Is it coming from my lap, from my Surface Pro? Since I can't use that computer, I'm on this one. Oh, poor baby, you can't attack it, it's way up there. I need to vacuum over there, Jesus. Well, I uh, went to my YouTube dashboard and it was at 399,999 subscribers. So I refreshed, saw the exact 400k. The round numbers are so beautiful. <laughs> um, what even is this? I hit 300,000 three and a half weeks ago. It hasn't even been a month since I hit 300k. I'm like in disbelief. So thank you so much to all of you who <laughs> are subscribed to any of my channels really so really like I always thought a hundred thousand was sort of the ultimate lifetime goal but that I would probably never reach I was like man what if like 10 years from now I hit a hundred thousand subscribers that'd be so cool like it just seems so unattainable especially for art channels I always felt like it was really hard for art channels to get big unless you were like really skilled and a published author like Mark Crilly. I thought, oh, you had to be super pro to get that level of subscribers. But, um, <laughs> like, I don't know, I just feel like the art community has grown so much and there's a lot of channels right now that are kind of booming and getting a lot of subscribers and it's super awesome. And so, huh, yeah, happy times, I guess. <laughs> Anyway, I should go shower, clean my dirty self, and continue on with my day. I think I'm going to package orders first, because I was going to do the live stream then package orders, but I'm feeling a little energetic, and it doesn't look like it because I'm lying down, but I just laid down just now. Anyway, <laughs> um, I'm going to package orders and try to get completely caught up, and, um, and then work on my collab picture which is what I was gonna do during the live stream so yes and in the meantime continue with my computer stuff I'm still transferring files because it hasn't been that long since I last updated you so <laughs> yeah 
It's time for the SpongeBob joke of the day. Who brings candy to all the good boys and girls in Bikini Bottom in the spring? The Oyster Bunny. Oh, he's so cute. I went into the spare bedroom to start packaging orders earlier and it turned into sort of a let's clean out the closet kind of thing. So, okay, I'll show you what it looks like. It's not drastically different, but there was stuff piled down here up to about here and now it's all organized up top. So, yeah, and I went through some of the boxes and I'm getting rid of some stuff. And then I wrote up some thank you cards, like a whole bunch of them, and I'm probably going to finish writing through these ones too. And I want to restock some of these, but I can't use my printer right now for some reason because of the state my computer is in. I can't use any wireless, like I don't have internet, not even with the ethernet cable, and my printer is wireless, so I can't print to my printer either. So hopefully these last files will finish transferring so I can like play around with the computer a little bit more and see if I can get it working. I am taking a little break though. I'm gonna make a chicken stir fry with the rice. So that's what I'm working on. Dear computer gods, please help me. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> okay, excellent. We are back. I was legit scared. I thought I seriously screwed something up. <laughs> Basically all I did was I I did a selective startup where I disabled certain things so that they wouldn't start up when I booted up my computer and that made like the Windows theme look really weird and really limited what I could do for some reason. Um, but it didn't, like the things I unchecked didn't really change anything and so I just set it back to load all drivers and blah blah blah. I just set it back to what it was at before and it booted up just fine and didn't crash because before every single time I tried to log in, as soon as I type in my password to enter, boom, blue screen every time. So I was like, mm. so I don't know what's different. I just kind of changed settings and then changed them back to how they were and it works now. <laughs> And this is all because like I wanted to improve the live stream experience by downloading that webcam software And all it did was made it so I couldn't live stream at all like how dumb is that? I just ugh, it's frustrating So yeah, and I don't think the program even still runs like I did send in an error report with them But yeah Oh, yeah, I uninstalled it clicking. It's not gonna do anything. I don't even know what to do anymore. It was basically like a waste of my money. Here it is. We didn't have a ton of different veggies. There's really just the peppers, garlic, and onion. And then the chicken and the rice and some sauces. So not as much veg as I would like, but it was what we had. So I decided it's finally time for me to upgrade to Windows 10. So it downloaded and then it went to install and it gave me this error message and I looked it up and um, one of the solutions suggested was that if you change your download directory it can cause it to not install and so because my C drive is not very big um, I have two extra drives in my computer plus an external drive and I changed it so by default all my program downloads go to my D drive they don't always go there even though I change the settings. Some will still default to the C drive. But I changed that and now it looks like it's installing. Yeah. Anyway, my download directory is back to my C drive. So I just got to really keep an eye on it because the C drive fills up all the time. So, yes. Yes. Okay, anyway, I just finished eating. So I'm going to go back to the bedroom and keep packaging. Well, I didn't really start packaging. I was just doing the thank you cards and that kind of stuff. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Now, okay, maybe I should put away the food first, but I can print off more return addresses now that my computer is up and running. So let me do that before the Windows 10 thing finishes. Bum ba da da Poor Kiki, she's trying to get comfortable. She got squished to the edge of the box. <laughs> it was so sad before. She figured it out now. She's good, she's got space. Oh, look at that. Look at that precious babe. Tusky baby, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Here's some ruckus in the closet. Oi! I don't know, I just came in here, her tail's sticking out right here. She's just like, I don't know, I guess she climbed up the snowboard and was like all up in the bags? I don't know. What was Kiki doing? Is she being a crazy geek? Now you're like, hmm, how do I know that? Crazy baby. Don't mind me. Go back to sleep, baby. <laughs> oh, your little hands are up. Oh, my. What's your sister up to? She's not on the cat tree and she's not in the basket. Oh, there she is. I don't want to disturb her. Okay. All right, here's the results of today's packaging efforts. There's a lot of boxes and a lot of tubes because media, most medium prints are sold out and all the small ones are now sold out. All I have left for medium is Solid Dewdrops, uh, Team Rocket, and Korasami. I think those are only three I have left. So I had one order that was just medium prints and then um, the rest were large prints, and so they're all in boxes. And I usually don't sell this many large ones, but um, it's because other ones are sold out. So it's like an influx of large ones. And anytime something is not flat, it needs a shipping label. And actually, since this one's international, it does need a shipping label too. So they all need shipping labels except for the small ones, which just get stamps. But that's quite the mighty task, and I don't want to be up super late tonight. So I'm going to call it done and go to bed. Wait, is this an envelope? Oh, yeah, there's two of those. Two. <laughs> so, yeah, that's so much stuff. That's gonna take me forever to do those labels, so yeah, tomorrow. That'll, that'll be tomorrow's job. What I'm really excited about is that I'm using up my packaging supplies, because I was worried I would have all these extra supplies once my store closes. These, I'm gonna not be getting rid of these, because I don't have many medium prints left, so I'm not using many of these anymore, but I'm kind of glad I have extras because I can use them to ship any original art because uh, once my store re reopens, I'm not going to be shipping anything myself except my original art and um, my Copic art anyway will fit into these, so that'll be good for me to hang on to some of those. And I mean, there's not too many. It'll, it'll last me a long while, but that's good. And then I have these boxes. I was trying to use up some boxes instead of tubes, which is why there are so many boxes there. I could have used tubes because I still do have some left. I've got, what, five tubes left? I'm so glad I'm actually using these because I just bought these recently and I, I only got 25, but still I was like, oh crap, now that I'm closing my store, I'm never gonna get through these tubes. But since there's suddenly an influx of large prints, I've been getting through the tubes, so that's really good. Um, Still would like to get through a few more boxes, but yeah, because I won't really have use for these after, so I don't know what I would do with them. So, yeah. Exciting times, using up all my supplies, and then small envelopes, I don't have that many left either, so that's good. Not left with excessive stock. And then my thank you cards, I thought I made up more than I would need. I had exactly enough, so that was pretty funny. So, yeah, these are whatever things looking like. So empty. We got oh, oh, we have one defective crayon left. Oh, that was hidden because they're marked as out of stock. There's one Team Rocket, three Corsamis. We've got quite a few solemn dewdrops left, like maybe five. Yeah. And then the rest will just be large prints. And actually, I've been printing so many of them tonight. I don't even have that many left in here. It's 
blurry, but here's how thick my stack is that I've left. That's not that many, and I've had to print off several tonight because certain ones are out of stock. Um, so I've been reprinting them. They're marked as in stock on the website because I can freely print them, but I don't have any more medium paper left, so I can't make more of those, and I can't make more small ones because I don't print my small ones myself anyway. I can still print more large ones though, so all the large prints are still in stock if that particular print is available in size large. Because some artwork like Alexa is too small to be made into a large print because it would just look blurry. And once more of this space is cleared up, I can start putting toys on here instead. Maybe not to display the toys, I mean that could happen, but I think more just like to store the boxes and stuff that's currently under the table maybe. I don't know. We'll see. What sucks is that since we live in a small place right now, I'm never going to have proper storage for my toys. Uh, like, I can't put up shelves or anything unless it's a freestanding shelving unit. I'm just trying to plug in my service, bro. Where's the charging spot? Oh, it's on the other side. But yeah, pretty much as long as we're living in this apartment, I'm not going to have great options for displaying my toys. I don't think I'm allowed to, like, drill holes in the wall in order to put up shelving units and stuff so yeah <laughs> plus I don't want to display everything I get just like my favorite things so you you anyway like I said I don't want to be up late so I'm gonna head to bed so thank you for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow okay so here's what I have so far A box of mandarins some pineapple raspberries grape tomatoes apple pears grapes grapefruit juice, milk, and then popcorn for Christian. And then they also had the big Kinder Eggs here, the ones with the blue tops, because I have two with the pink 